My family and friends are grieving the loss of an 18 year old girl who had so much to look forward to. Thanks for joining us on the Night Beat. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Nicole Gabin for Amanda Hall. Now, the teen's life ended on State Road 82 in this tragic crash. Jasmine Lamar was one of the five people who were pulled from this mangled car you see here. Now, the driver of the other car was also killed, adding to that long list of State Road 82's victims. The Night Beats Taylor Wards had the chance to attend the balloon release for Jasmine tonight, and Taylor, her family wants to see change out there. Nicole, they do. Her family says that this road is a drag strip, and while FDOT has plans coming as soon as this summer to make it safer, they say that's not soon enough. Tears hugs, and a sea of pink balloons. Friends and family gather Tuesday night to say goodbye and celebrate the life of 18-year-old Jasmine Lamar. The sweltering heat, nothing compared to their pain. She only 18, just graduated, was going to college. She's a sweet, sweet young lady. She had a future ahead of her. A future that included going to FSW with dreams of becoming an ultrasound tech. I got to go home to not having my daughter there. But through all the sadness was anger. Piss the hell hey. off. Anger at the idea that more could have been done to prevent Jasmine's death on State Road 82, a road that's claimed too many lives already. That's a drag strip. That's why everybody go 100 miles an hour up and down. 18 year old Dustin Goldsby was struck by a car while riding his motorcycle last year. This kid lost his life a year ago after graduation. You figured that would have made a change. And while FDOT told Wink News it does plan to make changes to the road by adding a traffic signal at Sunshine Boulevard and taking away left turns at several intersections, Jasmine's family says if it had been done sooner, she might still be here. How many more parents got to bury their children before they step up? Jasmine's family is also asking the Lee County Sheriff's Office to take action. They said until FDOT can make the necessary changes, they want to see a lot more deputies patrolling this road. On the night beat, Taylor Wirtz, Week News.